on Instagram. It's just for fun. I spend like 30 minutes a week on it, tops. My boyfriend is a very sweet guy in many ways, but one thing that I'm not so much a fan of is that he often hops onto the bandwagon of hating on innocent things. So he's a nice guy, right? Well, I'm not judging yet. I'm going to carry on reading the rest of the story first. Not just not liking something, but making sure everyone knows he doesn't like it, even if nobody asked. Okay, okay. I can't help but notice a theme. Pumpkin spice lattes. Pouty selfies, Taylor Swift, etc. As you can probably guess, he is not a fan of the food pics and thinks it's very annoying and cringe. He doesn't even follow my Insta even though he has an account and the Redditor put a little sad emoji next to it which kind of breaks my heart, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I don't have very many followers, I have started getting occasional offers and invitations from restaurants in my city to try their food for free in exchange for a review. Look at you, that is awesome. Nothing crazy, no steak dinners so far, but I've gotten a few sandwiches and several baked goods. That is awesome. That is awesome. Well, I just hit the big leagues and got invited to a new restaurant opening that includes a free appetizer and entree for me and one guest. I immediately invited one of my Instagram friends who I've gone out to eat with on several occasions and who also enjoys taking food photos. I told my boyfriend and he is pissed that I'm not taking him and he says I'm doing it out of spite. I really think I'm not. Trust me, if you were doing it out of spite, you would know you were doing it out of spite. <laughs> if the restaurant is giving me free food in exchange for a post, I'm going to put more effort into the post and spend a few extra minutes making sure that I actually get very good shots and I'd rather do it with someone who isn't going to sigh and roll their eyes through the whole thing. Preach. Preach. Also, I think it's pretty audacious of him to be actively unsupportive of an activity that hurts no one but then also expects to benefit when it's actually successful. Exactly. Exactly. safe to say that the Redditor is not an a-hole in this situation whatsoever. It is, I think, in my humble opinion, also safe to say that the Redditor has a very unsupportive boyfriend. I mean, he is lovely in so many ways, yet, I mean, I'm getting real nice guy vibes from him. Sorry. When you love someone, this is relationship advice with Julie tonight. <laughs> Feel free to skip through this if you're not interested, but if you love someone, you love every part of that person, right? And you especially love and respect and appreciate and support the things that they are passionate about. The Redditor is clearly passionate about food photography, which is wonderful for this person. Okay, I love, I love that they are getting free things. Like, obviously, it's not about getting free things, but it's, I don't know, it's 
a sign of appreciation and it's a sign that you're doing a good job with your hobby, right? Getting a free sandwich to post on your Instagram because that restaurant, that company wants you to put their food on your page. That's an honour, right? So it is absolutely unacceptable to me that this boyfriend shows zero support for that. Even rolls his eyes when his partner is taking these photos for their Instagram. Like, that is insane. That is more than just not being interested or not being supportive enough. That is actively, actively disliking and judging something that your partner does. So, oh my goodness, this boyfriend definitely an a-hole, the redditor, definitely not, and I can't blame them for taking an Instagram friend who also appreciates the food and the food photography. You guys, I would love, as always, I would love to hear your opinions in the comments below, just let me know what you think of these stories. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know. Just 
ginormous ale and I do not understand how they didn't realize while writing this post that they were in fact a ginormous ale and there was no point in finishing this post. I am baffled. I mean, first you live stream an argument in a restaurant, which is already completely way out of order, right? You don't do that. But then it turns out it's your cousin's friend's boyfriend and they are asking you to remove it because they actually got sacked because of this argument. And then your response is, well, that post had kind of already gotten a lot of traction and I didn't want to deprive my followers of great content. That makes you, I mean, that makes you an a-hole, <laughs> plain and simple. Then you go on to post a photo of a car accident, which is completely disrespectful. You don't know what happened. You don't know whether people got injured or worse in that car crash and you post a photo of it online. That is not done. Like, that is absolutely not done and that is incredibly disrespectful. I'm sorry, but, you know. And then thirdly, your friend privately shares a before and after picture of her on her weight loss journey and without asking, without consent, you post these pictures on your social media, on your Instagram. Anyone would be fuming, right? Those photos were shared in private and then you just share them on your social media for some uplifting content. It doesn't matter that you put that you are proud of your friend. It doesn't matter. You do not share other people's photos that they've sent you in private on your public social media accounts or even on your private social media accounts. You don't do that without consent. This is insane. Yeah, it is decided. Massive a -hole. Massive ale. People. I do wonder what goes through people's minds sometimes. You know, our 
was fat in middle school, so I have stretch marks, but my wife's pretty much encompassed her whole body. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of called a postpartum body, right? I don't know what this Redditor expected. She also would repeat annoying phrases to friends like, my stomach is squishy, but our daughter loves it because I'm mama, or oh, I'm perfect in her eyes. Such an annoying thing to say, right, as a mom. Wow, oh, so annoying. In the same breath, she complains that her skin looked like a melted candle and it's honestly too much to bear for me. You guys, I find it so difficult to keep my thoughts to myself throughout this. I mean, sorry, you're her fiancé. You're supposed to be a safe place. She's supposed to feel safe enough to say that she doesn't like the fact that her body looks like a melted candle. Even though this woman is clearly being hard on herself because, you know, a postpartum body... It takes a while to recover. Anyways, she says that she can't imagine trying on wedding gowns right now. And for the moment, I'm just secretly relieved because she's impossible to deal with. And the last thing I want to do is plan a wedding. I have thoughts on that too. I mean, the last thing I want to do is plan a wedding that kind of already when you said that you had been engaged for 11 years, but I mean, who am I, right? She's since started spamming everybody's Instagram feed with fitness journey photos. My sister and her college friends came home one weekend and were scrolling through her posts and saying the captions she writes are just desperate, but I've bit my tongue so far. But yesterday, she posted a close-up of her stretch marks with the really second-hand embarrassment-inducing caption to the effect of, I'm proud of my tiger stripes. It got a bunch of likes and comments, but honestly, I think people just thought it was the acceptable way to react. The pictures were also pretty close-up. I confronted my fiancé and asked if she would consider taking it down because it's just a set of really unattractive pictures. I'm, I'm getting more and more furious as this post progresses. I don't know if you can tell. I honestly had to look away and I'm sure our friends who follow her might have had that gut reaction too. She started a long tirade about how strong her body was and how amazing it was, as if she was the only woman who's ever given birth. He did not just say that. He did not just say that. I finally stopped her and said it was an embarrassing post and walked away. Am I the ale? Now I got her complaining about giving her best years to me and a bunch of other stuff over text to her friends. Well, hell yeah. How are you surprised? Necessary for me to say, but this Redditor is a massive ale who is also incredibly unsupportive and just plain inconsiderate and quite frankly kind of disgusting in his behavior. I'm sorry, I said it. Honestly, the first red flag is we've been engaged for 11 years. Now, you, do, you never know what's going on in somebody's life, okay? Life can get in the way, but I am actively admitting to not wanting to plan a wedding because she is impossible to deal with and she constantly complains about her body but then posts cringy pictures and with cringy captions on Instagram. 
is ridiculous. A woman who goes through a pregnancy and goes through labor, that is pushing your body to the limit. It messes with your entire hormone balance. It does all sorts, right? She has the right to be proud. She has the absolute right to be proud and she has the right to call it her tiger stripes. You go girl. You go girl. Like honestly, she's obviously not happy with the way her postpartum body looks. That happens a lot and she's doing something about it because he's even calling her a fit mom, right? She's working on it. These things take time and she is damn right to be proud of her progress because her husband, well not husband, fiance for 11 years is definitely not going to be the one to be proud of her. That much is quite clear from this post. Honestly, honestly, this guy is bad news and I would personally advise this Redditor to run or toss him in the bin. Wow, that is insane. That is insane. The fact that he used the words a neurotic mess of a person to describe the mother of his child and his fiancé for 11 years is so disgusting to me. Like, honestly, you guys, I know I'm using strong language, you don't have to agree with me, but this is red flags, sirens, lights, everything like this is, this is bad news. I honestly feel bad for the woman in this story. I feel bad for her. Wow. us 
was to even more recently and now she is starting to post more um, provocative stuff I suppose we should call it I am obviously not saying like nude stuff but stuff in bikinis with a focus on her bum you know the type now while I'm not a big fan of her doing that I do not consider it it's a huge issue. At the end of the day, everyone sees it when we go to the beach anyways. It is more or less yet another shovel of shit on the proverbial shit heap that this Instagram crap has become. That certainly is a lot of feces in one sentence, yes. However, on the off occasion, I actually check her Instagram comments are just pissing me off. Primarily a bunch of horny dudes. You get the drift. So yesterday I decided to just be blunt about it, given it is really putting a strain on our relationship and it went about as well as you would expect. We have not spoken since, aside from another argument. Real fun, given that we live together, so... Am I just overreacting? Now, a bit of extra info before we go to the judgement is um, somebody in the comments asked what the Redditor actually said and they responded saying pretty much what I said in the post that it was becoming an obsession seeping into every aspect of our relationship that I felt I go out with her and a bunch of other people instead of just her. That private moments shouldn't always be broadcasted. That I'm uncomfortable having a heap of people know how I look through her account. And that I was not happy that her new follower growth seemed to be primarily thirsty weirdos and that in turn makes me feel uncomfortable. So, essentially, the Redditor has expressed its boundaries in the relationship and in this specific situation with the girlfriend's Instagram account. Does that make him an a-hole? In my opinion, it doesn't. And again, relationship advice with Julie tonight. I think it is incredibly important to establish boundaries in a relationship, to communicate your boundaries to your partner, and to have mutual respect for each other's boundaries. The Redditor doesn't necessarily have a problem with his girlfriend having this Instagram account, not even with her posting more, I don't know, promiscuous photos in bikinis. Now, what he does have a problem with is essentially his girlfriend not respecting his boundaries by trying to force him to be in photos when he's not comfortable with that. I mean, that's where it stops being okay. I think the main thing in a relationship again, is to express your boundaries to the other person and then do that in return and then you respect each other's boundaries, right? Obviously, there's a lot more to a relationship than just that, but that, I think, is a pretty solid requirement. So, again, do I think the Redditor is an a-hole? No, absolutely not. But if... If, you know, their boundaries and their views are so fundamentally different and it is so hard for this girlfriend to respect her partner's boundaries, I mean, that might mean the end of the relationship. Obviously, 
obviously it's not up to me to make that judgment but if you want completely different things and if you can't respect each other or each other's boundaries that's not usually a great sign for a healthy relationship I 